Oh, she's back. <laughs> sorry about that. I'm not really sorry about it. Hi, everybody. It's going to be a long night if I keep screwing up. <laughs> I'm going to have to edit the hell out of that first one I did. I think I did ask one of the same questions twice. Or Anyway, I took my little trip to La La Land. I wrote a little, it seems like the neater I write, the easier it is to follow me. So I wrote a little neater on this one. So we'll see how it comes out. So this is my second reading tonight. And um, it's going to be, will any more of these right-wing terrorist groups be arrested or found out, you know, before the election? Are they going to bring another one to justice before the election? Right-wing terrorist groups, or what's going on with you? I know there's more of you out there and I get so upset every time they call you a militia because you're not a militia. You're Nazi, whatever. I don't know what I'd call you. Terrorist. Terrorist, not militia. Anyway, let's see. Yeah, I'm going to shuffle you again. I'm in to shuffle these cards again. Well, won't help to shuffle unless I get them inside of each other. Oh, wow. We're being watched over. Tell you what. The patron saint of Mother Earth. We got the Empress here. She's watching over things, so that's good. Maybe she'll help keep people from getting hurt in the streets afterwards, the election. or but This is before the election. Are they going to arrest anymore? I feel like this card is saying, don't worry about this too much. We're going to be safe. But anyway, um, got the Empress here. The influence over this is women. So is this women in the law or women what? I mean, both of these are women's card. Women energy is good. Unless there's a whole group of them that's women. <laughs> no. We got the star for the foundation. This is some good cards. So I'm, it's almost saying like if there is any more plans that they're not going to get away with it. We got the king of pentacles trying to egg them on in the past. We got the strength of the women. Man, I'm telling you. Well, any more of these right wing anarchists, whatever you want to call them, be, ar be arrested before the election. God, we got another woman's strength at the top. Is a bunch of women going to turn them in? I think there's some women that's going to be telling on their husbands and or even their husbands and their boyfriends and telling them where the guns are stashed and what they're up to. There's just too many women cards here. We got four, four in a row here, right down the middle, and they're all the great women working together. The star, the the strength card, the empress. In the near future, somebody's trying to get away with something. Uh, They think they might get away with this. They got money coming in to help them. They're not going to get away with it because the people away or people around them are going to turn them in. This is the women turning people in around these people. And we got the ten of swords. It's not good. 
and they're going to feel extra stabbed in the back because, 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 because it's going to be from their own families. Not all of them. There's a lot of, Henri can say that, there's a lot of freaky women out there. So not all of them. But there's, yeah, it looks like there's going to be more of them going to jail before the election. They're going to get told on by their, their families and the women around them. Donald Trump's going to be cheering them on. But from the strength of the women around them, the women getting together, just like the men, they're not like they used to be where they weren't allowed to talk. They're going to come through and save a lot of hurt and a lot of heartache and turn these mercenaries in, which is actually going to break the mercenaries' hearts more because the women are behind them getting caught. So the next plot's going to be uncovered by the women and the family and the girlfriends, the, pe the, the feminine energy around them and close to them is going to end up turning them in. And this is supposed to be before the election. We'll see. We'll have to see. But it's interesting, interesting, interesting. And uh, I put those all in there together. The next one is, well, will Texas go blue? That We're going to do four cards across for that. We're going to do that quicker. Will Texas go blue? Who, 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 who? Will Texas go blue? 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 Wow. In the past, in the past, they were pretty hard Republicans. Looks like there's going to be a world shift. I don't know. We got Donald Trump in the prison here, and it's getting pretty close to the election. The women are, Trump has lost the women. That's the challenge. He's lost the women. He's lost the women. It's going to be close. It's going to be close. Let's see what the, look at that, look at that, look at that. Yep, if the votes are counted fair, Texas is going to go blue. I can't believe how many times you mm, come out tonight, little star lady. But we got the women going there and the president. Trump really thinks he's got it still, but there's going to be a total shift. Definitely, definitely, definitely going blue. Should ask if Florida was going blue. I didn't write that down, but I guess I could still ask. Uh, well, I'm just going to pull four real quick and ask if Florida's going blue. Let's see. Is Florida going blue? <laughs> God, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I don't think that I thanked you when I started this video, but I did want to thank you. And I was, I, I was really, I should have told somebody else instead of myself, but I really wanted to get to at least 5,000 subscribers, which isn't very much considering how long I've been doing this. Of course, I had to take my break when I broke my leg in two, but I can't blame everything on that. But I'm almost up to 5,000. I think I'm only like a couple hundred away from it. And I wanted to get there for my birthday, and my birthday is Saturday, so anybody that you can get to subscribe or push the like button, I'm not quite sure. How, I think you just that's only subscribers. But anyway, the like button's nice too, but anybody that you know that could do that, I'd really appreciate it. It'd sure make me feel good. And any of you that watch all the time that aren't subscribed, uh, please push the, uh, the subscribe button. And... Uh, Okay, well, will Florida go blue? I'm gonna cut it. Will Florida go blue? Will Florida go blue? Well, they don't have a woman governor or anything, but we got a woman here. That's Nancy Pelosi. 
partnership, partnership, partnership. I think this is a lot of the Republicans that are saying, hell no, I'm not going to want to die just so young people can go out and go to bars. I think that's, uh, that's, that's, this is the pack where they've changed over. But what's the challenge to that? Challenge is them finding out the truth. Maybe half of them will quit watching Fox News and figure out what's going on. The truth coming out is the challenge. That their social security truth's really coming out, and I can't help but feel like this is social security being in danger of the Republicans were to get back in there. But this is for their Senate House. So we got the Democratic sign up here. We got the partnership, which is a Democratic sign. We got the sword of truth, which is yes. And then we got the news getting out. So what I'm thinking is to be in the, the future, and we got what I call the town crier. I think this is the older people in Florida just realizing what a total asshole that Trump is. And I think that this is the yes card, that it is going to go blue. And the partnerships that they feel like they've had to change over. Because it's right next to the Democratic Party. So, yeah, this doesn't answer it quite as much as... Uh, I'm going to take four more because I know there'll be a big fight in Florida if it goes blue. Let's see. Yeah, because they'll try to steal it. <laughs> No matter how hard I bury that card, boy, that keeps coming up tonight. They're going to try to steal it, and they're going to try to push it through in a hurry. They're already trying to figure out how to do that. That's what they're working on right now. They're just trying to see how much money they need to put back down there in Florida. But it's not going to work. So, uh, yeah, it's going to go blue. It's going to go blue. They're not going to be able to steal it. So, anyway, that's just what I'm saying these cards are saying. <laughs> you can disagree with me. I wouldn't even hurt my feelings if you did. Everybody sees the cards in a different way. It's The cards are just a tool in between you and your guides or, or angels or ingenuity. It's just a tool to open us up to spirit. So, uh... Let's do one real quick here on Barr's health. I'm not even going to ask if he's got COVID. We're just going to do one on Barr's health. William Barr. Are you even going to make it to the election? I don't think he's doing good. I think part of it is just he's really worried. Because he really feels in his heart that Trump's going to lose this election. And he's already done a most of the shenanigans he can do without going to jail, he's already done. And he don't want to pull anymore because he might that might just put him over the border where he ends up in jail. So I really think that this is one thing that's got him down. But let's see if he's sick. Why? Is he sick or hiding? Or what, what's going on with you? Well, he's laying awake nights worrying about it. And we got that. That's what's going on with him. He is really, really, really worried. He's... He might have done something even worse than we know because he's really worried about something. He's wishing he'd never got into this. Got the nostalgia card here. Wishing he'd just stayed out of this to start with. Feels like a hung man. <laughs> not, not a hung man. <laughs> well, we got, I doubt very much if he's hung. <laughs> Excuse me. But we got the hangman here, but it's upside down. It's like... Uh, well, no, it's right side up. We got, the, we got the hangman here, and it's like, damned if he does and damned if he doesn't, he's still in trouble no matter which way he goes. Uh, before he was in so tight with the White House. Now he's not sure what, whether to go shut or go blind. We got the... He feels like his hands are tied and his mouth is shut and everything else. He feels like he should kind of make a decision but don't know what to do so that could be why he's laying low it doesn't look like uh, in the future 
we got the world. Let's hope. I hope that's not the world coming out rosy for him. But I, I don't feel like it is. In the future, he just know he knows that the Democrats are going to win. I think that's it. He knows it. He knows it. He knows it. That's what's going to happen. He's sure in his own mind and in his soul that the world's going to going to pivot because that's the world card. And we got the Empress coming in, that energy coming in. And even though people around him want him to screw up this election so bad, they want him to influence it, they want him to con contest it and bring in all kinds of crap, uh, he doesn't know if he can pull that off. He's also worried about money, I don't know why. He could possibly be worried about money, but maybe if he has to do court cases against him afterwards. And he's just wanting to get the hell out of there. He's just wanting to go away. So no, he's not physically sick. Although at his age, if he's this shook up, he could be physically, mentally ill, whatever, like a nervous wreck. We know he's laying awake nights and he's not getting any sleep. We know that he feels like he's totally tied down with these two cards. He knows he can't pull it out of the out of the bucket anymore. He knows that the good energy is coming in whether he wants it to or not. And uh, he knows that he just needs to leave town. The quicker the better for him. So at least I don't think he's sick. We can look at that as something really good. And the last one is Brad Pusquell. And it's just a quick one is, will he go to jail? And I think I'm, I'm going to grab a new deck so I don't have to mess around and put those back in there and take forever. And I'm just going to draw four cards. Somebody just, not somebody, a couple people asked me, will he go to jail before this is over? I don't know how he could stay out of jail unless he turns on somebody. But we'll just find out. If, he's, if it says no, he's not going to jail, maybe it means he's going to give some good evidence. Who knows? Let's see. We're just going to draw draw four of them. I've got the death card here. Uh, was he threatening to kill himself in the near past? I think he was. I think that's what all that stuff was about or something where they picked him up. Uh, yeah, he needs to dry out. We got temperance here. His electrolytes and everything else is all messed up because of drugs or alcohol or something. Uh, the challenge is the Democrats aren't going to let this go. Even though the Republicans might let him get away with, what was he supposed to have stole? $40 million? Or was it more than that? Maybe they'd let him get away with it, but the Democrats aren't going to let him get away with it. Well, we sure have pulled the Empress, Empress <laughs> a lot tonight. That's kind of like what's supposed to happen will happen and it's going to happen for the good. So I feel like this is saying it's too early to tell if he's going to jail because we don't know if he's going to go to jail or if he's going to talk. And if he talks, then there's a lot of people going to find out a lot of things. And uh, it could bring things back into balance. And of course, we got the death card here, which is a total change. So I think these aren't answering it exactly. I'm thinking like he's in trouble, but whether he's going to get out by running his mouth and being the first one to talk about money and where it's gone and wh who it's gone to or what. There's something com coming up there that's going to maybe help him. So that's it for, for this reading. And... Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'm glad that you're here and I'm glad that you're watching. I don't know what I'd do without you guys because uh, it keeps me busy thinking of 
gives me some perspective on how to get through the work and of course I'd love you I love your comments and uh, if you want a personal reading it's lynntarotreadings at gmail.com and get a hold of me and I'll get right back with you and we'll set you up with the reading and uh, this one to tell you guys I love you all and thank you so much namaste